Okay, so now we're here in your Total Martial Arts Ad Center, your ad account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create your pixel. So we're gonna go under the hamburger menu here on the left side below the home icon. We have business settings, ad account, billing, audience events manager. We're choosing an events manager. I like to usually open in a new tab so that it keeps the existing tab open. And then I'll go over here, just loading the events manager. Okay, and there's no data sources showing here. So then it says here to connect the data source, click on this button. And it says here, connect information about customer interactions with your business. This information can then be used to create audiences, run campaigns, optimize delivery and more. Choose a data source to get started. We have options here of a website and application if you're connecting an app or if you're doing offline events, like you're trying to track what people are doing after with cookie tracking, CRM to connect to CRM. So we're gonna choose the first one, the web. When we click on here, we're gonna choose here, select the connection method, choose how you'd like to connect your website so you can start sending web events, okay? So we've got the conversion API, which is directly from your server. We're gonna use the Facebook pixel. So we're gonna send web events and parameters to the web, okay? To the browser, web browser, so we connect. This just gives you an example, like gives you an idea of what the pixel is going to do on your website. You click continue. You name your pixel. So in this case, it's Total Martial Arts Center. We're going to call it TMAC. Um, I mean, obviously it's a Facebook pixel, but I'm just going to put FB pixel in there. And we have uh, check your website for. Let me go here. Okay, and when you click next, what's going to happen is you're going to choose here manually add pixel to the website. So that's if you want to install the code manually, and then there's partner integration. So in this video, I'm showing you guys how to install the code manually. You click on that, and right here you see the code. So right from here, you click this button, and then now we have the actual code. It's copied, and you can paste it. Part. Uh, Step two is to paste it into the head section, the head tag of every page in your website. So I've copied it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually email it to the developer. And there's the code right there. OK. So in this case, I'm sending it to Matthew, who is going to send it to the developer. And this is the FB pixel code. Okay. And that's how you connect. Uh, that's how you grab the, the, the pixel code. And now you've actually created it. So now you'll have that as a data source. So now when you go under data sources, um, it hasn't received any, um, your pixels there, but it hasn't received any uh, test events yet. So you want to first add it to the site and then you can go ahead and, and start looking, but you do have the pixel set up here. As you can see, uh, the pixel ID is right here. It's 382 da, 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 all the way. And that's literally the video on how to set it up. Okay. Perfect. All right. So Matt, I'm going to edit the video like ah, this there, but that's basically it. So it's set up. I'm sending it to you because I just want you to have it and you can forward it to them, right? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. And then I'll just like, what I like to do is just label each uh, email um, with something searchable. So if you ever need oh, okay. it, you can find it. And there you go. That's the entire code. Now in that right. code, I just want you to understand one thing is in that code, I'll show you something here. This is just a, a little thing for you to understand. So see this whole thing here? It says Facebook pixel code, script, and then yeah. it says end Facebook. This is all like HTML coding. And yeah. basically the only thing that changes between let's say yours and mine is, okay. is this ID right here. Oh, that's it, eh? That's literally it. And here. And here. Okay, okay. 
So that's by okay. default. And then they just put in, plug in that part. And you can see here what it does, it tracks the page view. Okay. And in Giga, you can even set it up. You can set up custom conversions. So now that the code's there, and then you go ahead and you start creating custom conversions. Custom conversion means basically, let's say for example, they're buying our software and they finish their credit card page. When they end up on a page that 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 is the page after they complete their credit card, the pixel fire is saying that they finished the credit card page. You get it? So it tracks them from the ad. So, so what happens is, is they go to your web page. So it tracks them there. Then they go to uh, the sales page. Okay, so it tracks them there. Then they go to the credit card page. And say they got off the credit card page, you can kind of tell where they fell off. Exactly. And that's where the retargeting comes in. Okay, I got you. I got you. So number one, you know if you have a conversion campaign, you know that because you set it as a conversion, like a sales conversion, then you know that when they get to that last step, the thank you page, thank you for purchasing or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever it is, right. That means that you got a sale and then they count that as a sale. How much ad budget did you spend to get that sale? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, like I said, I've we, never literally in all the years I've doing this stuff, I've never used the pixel on anything. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you don't always have to, but the thing is it's good. Like, Later on, when you start selling, it's pretty clear, pretty clear data from the sounds of it, though. Exactly.